432,000 folks filed new jobless claims last week. Good evening. I'm Mark Allen. Patrice Staten has the evening off. We've been tracking economic progress all year, and while this number may seem high, it is actually a 17-month low. In tonight's Economy Watch, News 10's Jessica Hayes explains how economic recovery is still a long way off. Jessica? Mark, that's right. As you said, 432,000 new jobless claims filed just last week. That is a 17-month low since June, uh, July rather, 2008. But it's still too early to tell if this is actually a recovery. It was a relatively bleak beginning of the year. In March 2009, the economy was in shambles. The Dow hit a record low 6,547 points. New jobless claims rose to a high 647,000 folks filing in one week. They promised us with a stimulus package we'd see unemployment around 8%. So, so it's, it's kind of not delivered what they promised us. Jobless claims have decreased since September, now at 432,000 new claims. But Bremer says these figures can be misleading since their first-time claims Folks already unemployed aren't counted. You're still not clear, are we out yet? Okay. We haven't seen any kind of sustained economic growth. You have a weak automobile sector. You have a weak construction sector. I'm looking saying if there's new jobs out there, where are they? Fewer claims could signal an economic rebound if companies continue to hire. Temporary hires may be at risk. And then in addition with the, the new state budget cutbacks and, and teach education cutbacks, we may see additional rises in, in, in unemployment numbers. Bud Bremer predicts slow recovery in 2010. It's a weak, fragile economy. So if we get another shock, God forbid another terrorist attack, disruption of the credit markets, those problems have been avoided, okay? But our federal deficit is $1.6 trillion, so how much more can we interfere with the markets? With real growth not expected until 2013. Now, a new nationwide unemployment figure of 10% was just released in November. Indiana stands at 9.6%. Illinois is well above the average at 10.9%. Mark, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Jessica. And remember, you can always get the latest economic updates at our website in the Economy Watch section.